Okay, so the last hour or so I've spent recording this didn't record, so thank you, Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. But either way, season one is here, the Joker is out, so I figured, why not just check in on this game, see if it's gotten any better, because you guys know my opinion on it. I like the gameplay of the game, but I didn't like the repetition, I didn't like the live servers bullcrap, and I didn't like where the story ended up going at the end. But hey, let's see, let's see what they changed. But basically, yeah, that's him, that's the Joker. Oh, the Joker, baby! He's the new character, he's been added. I am not a fan of this design, it's not the worst Joker design. Design, but it's not great, especially considering this is an Arkham game, and we know what Joker looks like in the Arkham games. Bring him back! Bring him back! Bring him back! But gameplay-wise, it's actually pretty fun. I really can't lie. What we're doing today is we're kind of just checking in on Suicide Squad, seeing if the game's gotten any better. And honestly, season one is looking pretty bare bones. So just to kind of pull up the menu here. Yeah, I know, I know. Please, I don't need you. I don't need. And uh, let's just go find a mission to do. So yeah, but Joker Traversal. So this game's kind of all about traversal. And not gonna lie, Joker's actually pretty fun to control. So the way I decided what character to play, which ultimately ended up being Deadshot in the main game, was how fun are they to actually move around the world? And Deadshot was the best, and I'm already confident Joker is actually the new most fun character to just move around in. But let's see how he does in mission. But yeah, we're going to the multiverse. I did almost none of these missions in the base game because they were just repetitive, same as every other mission in the game. And from what I can tell, that hasn't changed much. So I'm kind of hoping in future seasons or even later on down the road in this season, they add some new mission types because, dude, nobody wants to do escort missions. And uh, the take down the tank boss fights are kind of boring. But let's see what this is. I think, it's, I think I just have to kill people. But this is it. We're in Joker universe now. So this is the Joker's universe, I guess. So everything is all clowny, all laughy. Uh, a lot of people thought we were going back to Gotham. It... It really doesn't look much like Gotham. It's just the level, really. But hey, at least it's a new instanced area. It looks interesting. It's different. I'll take it. I'll take some new content because, oh my God. Of course, all the enemies are these armored dudes. Let's do the special. The so yeah, Joker's play style basically just involves him just building up these meters and just blasting people. This is his like insta kill, which not the best angle. We'll do a better angle later. But yeah, we just want we just want to start blasting, really. We just want to start doing stuff. Uh, let's start throwing grenades. He's honestly pretty fun. Like, I still think this game needed a bit more plot because, dude, one thing that I found out after I bought the DLC because yes, I bought the Joker because unlocking him would have taken me like, from what I understand, about like nine hours. So you, you can unlock him for free, but I I don't have that kind of patience, so I did it my way. <laughs> But unlocking the Joker, you get him at level 35 of the battle pass, which is like halfway through, which is kind of crazy, right? But my complaints about this season so far, from what I hear, there's only maybe like one new cutscene's worth of plot, like total, in the entire damn thing. Because that's what I wanted from this game was more story. So the fact they didn't do that is probably the most disappointing thing. Dude, this feels like a like Tarkov now. Basically, get in, kill everybody, and get out before they kill you. It's very Tarkov-y. All right, mission complete. Instant review of the Joker. Fun to play, fast-paced play style. Really, really quick. I love the explosions to bounce himself around. Like, he just blows himself up. That's pretty cool. This design still ain't it. Like... I, I hate how he looks. He's like the Joker. He was a actual like 17 year old dude. Dude, I mean, I'm looking at these missions and they're, they are the same missions. So when can I go fight Brainiac? Right there. Rescue the Joker, level 40. I could try it, but for now, let's just go do one of each of the missions, I guess. I can't afford it. I gotta go do some stupid grinding bullshit. Uh, see what I mean about the grind though, dude? That's, that's the stuff I hate. You have to earn Lex bucks to go and actually play the game. And oh man, it's so stupid. I wish they would just let us play as the Justice League for one thing. That should be the obvious, obvious thing. Because dude, why not play as the Justice League? Because their models are already in the game. Their play styles would make sense in like a big open area like this. So like, why not, right? And maybe just start with Batman, like because people want Batman back and it would make a lot of people happy. It's so damn close to being what we want it to be. Just needs a little bit more and a little bit more story. And to undo some of the stuff this game's story did, we will not talk about that right now, just in case you haven't, you haven't completely played it. The title of the game should tell us what needs to be undone, right? Because, man, they definitely mishandled some major stuff. So if they could just do some multiverse bullcrap to undo some of the damage they've done, that would be... That would be pretty nice, right? Let's go to the Nexus. I want to actually matchmake. Let's get some actual, like, humans on our side. Let's just play a mission or two, see how it goes, and then, uh, yeah, I'm going to grind to unlock the boss fight, because everyone loves grinding. <laughs> what are we doing? What 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 did I just walk into? Let's just start blasting, I guess. I don't know. What the hell is happening? 
I don't even know. I, I just got here. Uh, the frame rate is definitely taking a bigger hit. We did it. Uh, I was here for 30 seconds. Steal the reward. Got here just in time to steal all the glory. That shot got the player of the game. Now it makes sense since we're playing multiplayer. I just got here and I was third, apparently. Okay. It is I, the Joker. How do I emote? I wish that there was a world where poison ivy was normal poison ivy and not weird child poison ivy. Hey, grow the plant. Grow the plant. There it is. There's Seymour. Uh, we got the Fortnite battle bus over here. And then we got to do those fancy kills, right? Get the old Jason Todd. I don't even know what wants them. I don't like Joker talking like a good guy. I, I don't like it. It's really weird. Now, this is probably the least funny Joker in the history of the Joker. But I will give this Joker one thing. Uh, he's got a pretty good Joker laugh. All right, popping in the portal, boys. We got out. Uh, I'm the only one that made it so far. I also was apparently the best. Maybe Joker's broken. Maybe he's OP. Who knows? What is going on with the frame rate? Good God. What is happening? Everyone's menus are too powerful. Same thing happened in the base game. You play for a little bit, the frame rate just goes out the window. Don't worry. Don't worry, Deadshot. I'm, I'm coming in like four FPS. All right, frame rate, please fix yourself. I'm begging you. Uh, the frame rate did not fix itself, actually. At least the area looks cool. Ah, it's like I got the play of the game again. Even the play of the game is in like a bad frame rate. All right, I'm gonna go grind. I'll be back. And then we'll go deal with the boss fight, see how it is. So I just spent the past four hours grinding a single mission because that's the optimal way to do it. If you guys want to know the fast way to unlock Joker, very fast way to do it. Do this mission 35 times. It'll take you maybe two or three hours. And yes, that is pretty much the extent of this new season of gameplay. Redo the exact same mission over and over again. Every other mission takes way too long. Do this one. You'll get you'll get one guaranteed level permission. Save yourself some absolute headache. Just grind this one, and you'll eventually unlock the actual DLC mission, which is so dumb. God, man, why they do? Why did they do this? Why did they just let you do the mission first and then let you grind it later? So, fun fact of my grinding process: so the higher my combo, the bigger my grenade gets, and eventually my grenade was doing so much damage it was a killing every enemy on the screen. So I was clearing that mission in like 10 seconds flat. It was it was perfectly fine. It was great. And uh, also, every time I threw a grenade in the open world, it was crashing my game. So I just restarted my game. And it looks like it is no longer crashing the game, so that's that's something. We'll see what happens in the actual mission. Let's just get there and end the suffering. Let's go fight this new Brainiac. Can't afford it! I'm broke! Suicide Squad. Go the Justice League. I need 200. No! Look, it's Zatanna. Look, there she is. Put Zatanna in the game. Make her playable. She's not a hero, but, you know, that, that'd be cool. I'd, I'd be cool with that. All right. For real actual mission. Let's see how this new boss fight is. If it's just another reskinned boss with absolutely no changes like the last one was, which is exactly what I'm expecting it to be. I'm pretty sure it's just a reskinned Green Lantern fight. So now that we're in here, we gotta do a bunch of like basic missions. Can I go fight the boss now? Because this also bothered me during my like story playthrough is that we were forced to do more of the grinding bullshit missions before we could even fight the boss. We can finally go fight the damn new thing. The only new piece of content in this entire DLC expansion season. Season, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, teleport us in, let's go. Well, good thing Brainiac's bringing out the vault we need to rob in order to bite us, I guess. Tell me it's the same exact arena it was last time. It looks like it. At least Jokerify it. We're in Joker world. Okay, yeah, here we are, finally. Content. Boss fight? Please be more than just a reskin Green Lantern. I'm begging you. <laughs> Okay, what happened? Oh, all right, it was still loading, I'm sorry. Let's see, he looks exactly the same. Uh, fantastic, great. Joker's not even in the cutscene. I thought he was gonna turn into the Joker. It is a reskinned Green Lantern fight. Why? At least let Joker be in the cutscene, dude. It's the same fight. Don't you love when bullets can beat a Green Lantern? Regular old normal bullets. <laughs> I know they're fear charged Sinestro core bullets. I know, I know. No, 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 no. Don't get your shield back. I die, die. He ran away. Is he dead? All right, we kill him, right? Come on, come on, get down here. Good, bitch. Another brainiac bites the dust. Now, to review that boss fight, it was functionally basically the same as the Green Lantern one with just a lot more ads. And then we destroy another Brainiac. This whole destroyed 13 Brainiacs idea, in and of itself, just creates the need for monotony because no matter what, all these dudes are gonna look like Brainiacs. Uh, here's the Joker, finally a new cutscene. 
Finally, acknowledgement. Okay, get the Half-Life face hugger off you. Also, also look, there's my Joker, the one I was playing at in, as in the background. I love there were two Jokers on screen right there. All right, all right, show me the cutscene, please. Give me a cutscene. This is it. This is the cutscene where they actually introduced the character I've been playing as the entire time. The only Don't new cutscene in the man. entire DLC. Uh, okay, he just... He literally just walks in and starts blasting. Who, who'd he shoot? He shot them all in the ass! In the penis! Wait, we don't shoot these guys here? Aw, oh, okay, that's on me. I hate his voice, dude. They could have gotten... Um... Dar, who did his voice in, um, Injustice. I would have much, I would have much rather had that. Why would they want him on the team? Why, like, why would they want him there? What would the Joker possibly add to the equation? Why did you say that? Bloody hell! Now you've just made it weird. This is this is the weirdest version of Joker. This sounds like somebody doing their best Joker impression, but it's not actually the Joker. That's that's the vibe I'm getting from this. Like I, I get it. It's not the Arkham Joker. It's not supposed to be, but. It Man, it, this feels like a 16-year-old pretending to be the Joker. Like, he's a he's a Joker fan. Joker, what are you doing? A then Boomerang just up. backs away slowly. The what the hell? I thought he was just floating there, dude. But that is actually where we're going to be ending this video. So if you guys are looking for more uh, bat content, I guess, uh, we're going to be doing Arkham Origins pretty soon. So look forward to that if you guys want to see that. May even do Arkham Origins Blackgate first. Have not decided yet. So let me know in the comments below if you want me to do that first. My final review on Season 1, they needed to do more. Joker as a new character from a gameplay perspective is actually really fun. Like, I'm not going to downplay that. He's actually one of the more fun characters. I think if he was base roster, I probably would have used exclusively Joker and Deadshot. But the actual content they added is so dry and kind of lifeless. And at the end of the day, I just repeated the exact same mission 30 times to unlock the actual new mission, which rewarded me with one new cutscene and another recycled boss fight. So... I'm still going to keep checking in. I want this game to be good eventually. It got a few more hours of playtime out of me, so I guess they did their job. But man, I still wish this game could have been so much more. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Subscribe for more videos, and I will see you in the next one. Till then, everybody.